So here we are, day in a life of a landlord, and tonight we are going to one of my buy-to-let investment properties, and we're just gonna be checking to see, one, if the tenants have moved out, and two, the condition of the property that they've left it in if they have moved out. Now, they're due to move out tomorrow. However, I've received a council tax bill that says that I'm responsible for the property from the 30th, which is about five days ago. So I'm making the assumption that they have moved out already. Now, I'm pretty keen to get into the property because I wanna have a look around just to see what work is involved for me to turn it around. The next tenant is due in in four or five days, midweek. So I've got the weekend and a couple of evenings to be able to turn it around and get it freshened up. Now, I'm hoping that it's gonna be in good condition. These tenants have only been in there for uh, one term. So they've been in there for six months and prior to that, I did turn the property around, decorate it, renovate it, and make it look nice and fresh for them. So I've got my fingers crossed that it should be in good condition. Now, you're probably thinking, well, damn, why are you going above and beyond? Why are you heading out to do this? Have you not got better things to do? Um, probably haven't, to be honest. But anyway, the reason why I'm going down there is because I'm gonna go in there and freshen it up, like I said, and I like to do that between tenant turnovers to ensure that my properties are nice for the next tenant. I feel that, if you give a nice, clean, fresh property to a tenant, there's a higher chance they'll give it back to you in the same state. Now, of course, if I go into this, or if we go into this property tonight, and it's not in great condition, then I'm going to be charging for the excess of wear and tear or any breakages that we might find. Now, my agent would typically go into the property, and they are doing, they're due to go in tomorrow to do a full inspection, checkout report, all that kind of good stuff. However, me and my agent are slightly mismatched in what we feel is acceptable and not. So I like to go in there and make my own report and just have a good look around just to check the actual general condition of it before we release that deposit and give it back to the tenants. Now, I'm not going in there looking for problems. In fact, I'm actually going in there with my fingers tightly crossed, hoping that it's gonna be in decent condition and I don't have to do anything. But it's not always the case. So we'll go and have a look, we'll have a look around and we'll see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna be in and out over the weekend, so I've actually just been and put my key safe up outside the property. My dad's gonna be popping in and helping me as well in if there is any sort of painting and freshening up that needs to be done. So I've got that up and I've had a good knock, hard, long knock on the door and nobody's answered. So let's go in and have a look. Well, so far so good. I know I haven't been anywhere yet, but it smells really fresh. And this is obviously a really good sign. It looks like we've got a mop and bucket and some cleaning stuff down here just at the front door. So I'm hoping that means they've mopped themselves out. So should we have a quick look around and see what it looks like? Let me just take you over to this side of the property. This room is looking absolutely fantastic. It looks as good as when I gave it over to them. So you do get some really good tenants who do look after properties and these tenants are definitely worth looking after. And I'll certainly be giving them a really good review as well if they do ask for a reference moving to their next place. And again, this is looking absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'm so impressed. They've done such a fantastic job. This is absolutely amazing. I am definitely going to drop them a quick email and just ask my agent to pass it over just to thank them just for leaving this property like this because it is rare that you do get properties back in this condition. I mean, look at these white walls. They've hardly been touched at all. The moment of truth. Let's have a quick look inside the oven. It was relatively new, but that looks spanking new as well. It looks absolutely brilliant. Inside the cupboards, they're all looking really fresh and clean. This is brilliant. I couldn't have done a, a job like this myself. They've absolutely done a fantastic job. Absolutely brilliant. I'm so impressed. Now, I don't know if you remember, when I actually turned this property around, I did a video on this wall here that was really damp after the last tenant had moved out. If you remember rightly, I treated that wall there with a bit of warm wall paint. And you can see now that after six months and with a tenant living in here, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. This room looks absolutely perfect and it's as clean as it was when I initially handed it over to the tenants. If we just go into the second bedroom as well, we'll have a quick look because this wall, this back wall, was also suffering from some condensation issues, which was reported as damp issues. When I had a look at it, it absolutely wasn't at all. So I put some warm, warm wall paint on those walls, 
had a good look at it, cleaned it all down, got it all sorted. And you can see that it still looks as fresh as when I actually gave it over to these tenants. No issues, no signs of damp or condensation there whatsoever. They've hoovered the carpets, the place has been dusted, it's really clean and it smells really fresh as well. This is absolutely perfect for a new tenant moving straight in. Let's have a quick look out the back. Ah, now this is interesting. Can you see down my garden there? It's actually full of weeds. Now, that was completely clear. It's actually a stone um, sort of area. You can see those grey stones. They're all the way across. So those weeds have started to grow out. And you can see there that the tenants have obviously not done the garden at all. However, with this property, because they have done such a fantastic job of cleaning it, I am so appreciative and I'm really, really impressed as well. That's what I, me and my dad are going to sort out, actually, before the new tenant comes in. We'll do some work out in the garden and get that sorted for them. Just almost as a little thank you, just for leaving the property so clean and tidy. And it looks absolutely brilliant. You know what? In all my years of renting properties, I actually think this is the cleanest and most tidiest, best condition property that I've actually had handed back after a tenant turnover. These guys have done a fantastic job. And it just goes to show that there are some amazing tenants out there. And it's been a really good interaction with these guys they've always paid on time they've been friendly they've never been any hassle whatsoever they were given a nice solid clean decent property and you know what they've given it back in the same condition as well it's been fantastic on my part and i really hope that they've enjoyed the property while they've been in here as well and it just shows you that buy to let property investing it can be really great for everybody involved if landlords are given decent solid nice properties making sure that they're clean tidy damp free warm properties over to tenants and tenants are acting like this and giving them back in fantastic fantastic condition, then it is a win-win for everybody involved. Now, I'd love to be able to tell you that we get all properties back in that condition, but unfortunately, it's just not the case. But you know what? When we do, it makes it all worthwhile. So a huge thank you to these tenants who have left this property in fantastic condition, but also a huge thank you to you for watching as well. I really hope that you got some value from the video. If you have, make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next video.